A game that speaks for itself in so many ways. A stadium bursting at the seams with excitement and two terrific teams ready to give it everything in their quest for glory. The kind of match that's impossible to take your eyes off even for a brief second. Next on EA TV. And hello from the Canary Islands. This is the scene here at the Estadio de Gran Canaria. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, ready to provide all the analysis, is Stuart Robson. And the focus is on one of the finest leagues in world football, La Liga. It is Las Palmas, and they take on Real Madrid. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kick. It's got to be! And a goal! Not bad for starters! They take an early! Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And the finish is just as good. That's an excellent goal. So the ball rolling again with the scoreline standing at 1-0. Mendy. Now with Bellingham. Determined defending. Javi Munoz. The defenders know you can't really allow space like that. Some of the fans are screaming, have a go. Vinicius Junior and slipped through beautifully Valverde this could square the game the pressure was high and they could be in here and is it going to end up being productive for them well, the referee wasn't going to let that go. Well, that could be the final warning. Well, he needs to be careful now. Next foul, and it's a card. into the penalty area and the attack fizzling out that's a good looking ball he just needs to stay level headed now and a goal the keeper couldn't stop it Real Madrid on terms well let's look at this again Derek because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick and the movement is so good that they end up with a 2v1 against the goalkeeper who was completely exposed great play but poor defending so a level contest 1-1 Javi Munoz. Munia. And offside, unfortunately. with Rodrigo really well positioned Sandro
Well, he's lost it. Teammates available. A very timely interception. Mendy. Distributing it well. Munir. Crossing opportunity. Munir. But into the keeper's gloves. Munir. A really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Well, that's common sense refereeing to play advantage. Moleiro. Kirian. Well, they keep the ball moving. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Finishing touch, just what the doctor ordered. Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter attack is so impressive, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy. Nothing the keeper can do about that. Well, that reaction says it all. That's such an important goal in this game. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? Kirian. Moleiro. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Mendy. Many. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? Course. On to Mendy. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Javi Munoz. Munir. And a struggle to get it away properly. Munir. Just the challenge that was required. Vinicius Junior. This is Kroos. And return to Vinicius. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. Giving it a real go in the wide area. Good ball played over. He could profit, you know. Oh, that is an outrageously good stop. Well, great reflexes from the keeper. He did brilliantly there. And deciding to go short with this one. And quick thinking defensively. Rodrigo. And the referee blows the whistle, thus bringing to an end the first half here at the Estadio de Gran Canaria. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Second half underway, with Real looking to build upon a positive first half showing.
showing a real will to win the ball a room to roam on the wing and he's waiting in the center unaccompanied oh he saved it well well just listen to the crowd they know this is a big chance to equalize But he's gone short with it. Vigorous defending. Alex Suarez struggling to hold on to the ball. Jude Bellingham. Carvajal. It's opening up for them. Carvajal offside the decision there has been plenty of limbering up from substitutes and now both sides will make personnel switches Sandro good ball over the top very quick thinking there. Rodrigo. A glorious chance. And a goal it is for Real Madrid. They are on a victory course. Well, here it is again, and the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. So there it is, 3-1 the current scoreline here. Carvajal on to Valverde Valverde nice looking move this just can't get it past him 30 minutes left for play Rodrigo opportunity oh that's magnificent goalkeeping and now we find out it was offside anyway. And Bellingham. Oh, a smart stop. <laughs> and there's the delivery. And dealt with it nicely. And strong play here. Vinicius. Can he find the angle? And the defender got the last touch. That'll be a corner. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. They fancy a short one. Cuts it back. And just leaning back a bit and over the bar.
Bellingham. Attacking possibilities for Real. Vinicius Jr. Determined defending. Twenty minutes to go. Good tackle. It'll be a throw. They have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. Kepa. Mendy. And very deftly cut out. Munir. A chance to whip it in. Not high quality defending. And just losing control of the ball, and it will be a throw in. Vinicius Jr. Can he put it away? Oh, fine stop. Not too fussy in clearing his lines. Oh, really careless. They might be in. Valverde. Vinicius Jr. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Well, nearly there, this game almost over. And looking at the fans, Stuart, they appear to me to be more than a bit gutted. Well, there are two main reasons why they're losing this game. Firstly, they've not shown enough desire to close the opposition down. And secondly, they haven't defended their box well enough. It's been a poor defensive display. And the chance is on. There's the goal. Surely now, that is that. Well, here's the goal again, and what a wonderfully weighted pass this is. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. Well, if there were any lingering doubts about the outcome, surely they now have been removed. Kirian. Loyo Dis and playing it through. Nicely timed tackle. Can they hit on the break? And in with a real chance. Well, fantastic reflex action. Moleiro. A message delivered from the referee to the fourth official. Three minutes on the board. And Bellingham. Easy meet for the goalkeeper. And there goes the final whistle, much to the disappointment of their supporters. It was the nature of the performance more than anything else. They never got out of second gear and were completely dominated all over the park. Tell you what, though, I wouldn't want to be in that dressing room right now. Well, this man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, that was a great performance. His understanding of how to find space was brilliant today. And, of course, he scored two really good goals. 